Hello, welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining in again. Today we're talking about a portable security. The good old padlock got a 21st century upgrade. So, you know, you're using padlocks at the locker, on your bikes, on your file boxes, tool sheds, gates, you know, wherever. So this is the Igloo Home Smart Padlock. It is uh, pretty heavy. Okay, here's the packaging, pretty cool. All right, we're gonna move that to the side. It comes with a really cool protective silicone cover for outdoor use, uh, but the lock itself is IP66 certified, so you know it can resist some water, but this will definitely extend you know its use a lot better. It's really heavy. It, like it says, the website said it weighs 0.992 pounds, but this feels like a five pounder. Like, and I'm, I don't go to the gym. But this is, uh, it's got some weight. You can, can do some damage with this. The shackle, all right, important part of the, the lock. It's made of hardened steel and it's actually swappable. So if you want a bigger shackle for a bike lock, then you want to get that other shackle and just swap it out with this one. So that's really cool. I haven't really seen like modular locks like that before. The battery is right in here and it's actually going to come not inside to preserve the battery. So they give you this little tool here. It looks like an Allen key, but if you look inside, you see that there's a hole in there and it has, you know, pretty specific patterns. This is called a Torx security screwdriver. So the back is protected with the Torx screw. So all you gotta do, open this back panel up and you're gonna pop the battery in and then relock it, right? Behind there, that's also where you access the spot to swap out the shackle. So don't lose this Torx security screwdriver. Make sure you keep this somewhere where you'll remember. Uh, so that's pretty neat. So the battery, it's gonna last about a year, which is pretty great, but it still might run out of batteries eventually. So what do you do when you pull up to your bike and the thing is dead? Well, on the bottom, you have these two little nodes that you can expose. We pull back the cover and you just take a nine volt battery, you touch it to those nodes and you can basically jumpstart your lock just to give it enough power so you can punch in the numbers and open it up. Um, so that's a real good, you know, fail safe. Uh, and it's really great that the keys are backlit because you probably will be using it somewhere at dark at some point. So that's nice. You don't need to take out your phone and hit it with the flashlight. It's gonna be two main ways to access the lock, one will be with a pin code. So you just put in your numbers, boom, 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 and it'll unlock. The other way is with the app. So you use your phone. All right, I'm gonna unlock myself here. So I tapped it on the app. There we go. So it took a, took a second or two to really kick in but now that it's reestablished the connection, let's see if it works faster this time. Right now we're locked, unlocked. All right, it worked a lot faster this time. So that's pretty neat. So you're gonna have four main types of pin codes that you can create using the app and they have different functions. So you can set a permanent pin that would be for yourself, right? The owner and whoever will, you'll want you know, access all the time. There's a duration, so you can set a pin that's only gonna work for the next 30 minutes. Uh, you can set a one-time passcode, right? So that's gonna be just, here's a pin, it's only gonna work one single time, and that's it. Or let's say you have a cleaning lady that's gonna come every Wednesday, 3 p.m. So you can set a recurring pin for them. Uh, so the keypad is gonna be disabled after several incorrect attempts. So people that are gonna go and try to brute force the lock, that's not gonna work. Uh, it's gonna disable the whole keypad. It's not gonna register any clicks after the number of, that you set in the setting. So if you want after five attempts, it shuts it down. After six, seven, you set that threshold, which is pretty cool. The app is also gonna keep an ongoing log, basically like a track history of all of the different times and locations that this was accessed. So you'll have a really good idea uh, if anybody was trying to go in there and you know brute force it with incorrect pin codes. So that's pretty neat. And if you're using it for Airbnb, it's also you know like a good tool to see how often people are coming in and out of the place. So if you are doing Airbnb, they have a direct integration. 
with your Airbnb calendar. So it will actually pick up who is staying when and it will create a new pin code for each guest every time. So that way the guy that left yesterday can't use the same pin to come in tomorrow and mess with your new guests, right? Crazy stuff on, on Airbnb. So I think that's definitely a great feature to have. In terms of price, 129 um, kind of expensive for a padlock, but considering all the features and convenience and the level of security it provides, I think it's a pretty decent deal. You can get it directly on igloohome.co. And if you have other smart home, smart security devices in your home, you know, this is going to work with your Google Home, your Alexa, some other things. Uh, but Igloo Home themselves offers other door locks, other doorbells, and all sorts of smart security home products. Uh, so if you're looking into that, consider Igloo Home as an overall brand, not just for the padlock, but for your whole home security setup. So that's igloohome.co. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.